Hey, what's up, Twitch Tube and you, you tat? Uh, you may notice if you're watching this on Twitch uh, that my last three streams has said I was finishing uh, Legacy of Goku 2. Um, technically, technically, I have not lied to you. Every time, my intent has been to get to and finish the end of the game. But, uh, at this point, it's just grinding up, grinding up that one man. Jesus. The wrapped around. What the hell are you wrapped around? The cables are wrapped around something. It's wrapped around my change cup. Alright, well, in any case, I... This is a bonus stream. I'm going to be streaming again later, and it'll be great. And I did not set up my second monitor today because I just don't care enough. <clears throat> We're going to pick uh, this file. Oh god, so much input lag. Right, so we determined that the dinosaurs are actually a stronger, or a better way to train. That's what that is. Yeah, was a it's real weird seeing it this far away, because I'm normally, normally the screen is closer to me. Awesome. I love how canonically, like, this guy sucks. But, like, here he is doing fine. What level we got this fool at? 42. And we're gonna finish this and get that bonus ending. I want... I don't think I've seen it before. I'm pretty sure I've done training with this dude and never gotten the, uh, the bonus ending. Never gotten him to level 50 to get that final bonus. Three! Nice. My stats all went up by zero again. What a jerk. Yoza. Wasn't expecting to get all of them. giving me as much XP. Then we're gonna do this the way that is... It might be longer, but uh, it's it sure feels shorter. God, why is this... It's messing me up the screen being so far away. Definitely need to not set it up like this next time I do something. But this was meant to be just a sort of quick stream while I... Uh, Level him, level him up all the way to 50. Just gotta get this man to 50. So we can get the bonus ending. Alright, yeah. 
got quiet for a second because I forgot I was streaming and not just playing a game where I'm grinding and trying to do everything possible. Alright, how many more? Okay, looks like we got them all on this is land. Alligators. They love getting the crap beat out of them. I rotate this and move the microphone just a little closer to me. <coughs> Sorry, I wasn't properly set up as I've said I wasn't expecting to do this today at all. But I have the day off because I had to go get vaccinated for COVID. So I was out most of the day. I, I, I had to leave early in the morning and then there would have been enough time that it's like, yeah, there's no point in going to work. It's also only because of work that I was able to get vaccinated. is really good at killing. Yoza. I saw a thing a few minutes ago about Star Wars and it made me remember something funny which is there are certain places where if you go, like, the most information you'll find about Star Wars is things like, uh, they'll know about Max Rebo, they'll know about gonk droids, and that's about it. Oh, and that the music that Max Rebo plays is called Jizz. Because that's very funny. Everyone who's a Star Wars fan should know that, because that's very fun information. they don't necessarily need to know about another in-universe band that plays the music called that, uh, which is Figrin de Anne and the Modal Nodes. But everyone does know of them, even though they don't know their name. Well, that's everyone who's watched Star Wars A New Hope, you know? The one that was initially just called Star Wars. Cantina Band. That's a real messed up name they got, but I mean, it's a very Star Wars name. I gotta give them that. Flashing. Dude, this guy's flashing animals. Forty-four. Ooh, his stats went up a little bit. His stats went up a little bit. Shh. Give me a second. I gotta get a drink. <sighs> Drinking my gamer juice. I'm a gamer cup. Alligators deciding that you don't get a uh, don't get blasted because whatever. I 
Let's go, you little freaks. That's mean, I shouldn't say that. They're normal animals. to get myself tired but boy just because I'm playing this and I'm streaming I feel very tired so I'm so used to streaming this at the end of work your day been going chat I know it's uh, noon Eastern so uh, I means hell it's probably early morning on the West Coast how's your morning West Coasters crazy Californians who might come in we're having a great time huh that's awesome you're having a great time without me. Wonder what it's like in the southwest. You know, the desert and whatnot. Probably sucks pretty hard because it's the desert. You got no fucking trees out there. That's a bit of a falsehood. There are trees, but like, not good ones. Because it's the desert. So you only have trees that can grow in the desert. Sorry, I gotta get another sip of gamer juice. <sighs> Such a great thirst. to shut off. Eyes want to shut off. Oh god. So boring. You ever have to do something real boring like that, chat? Even if it's something you like really want to do, it can still be quite boring. Like, I want to see the end of this game, and I didn't want to spend like, you know... A minute at the start of the next stream after having played this on my own time. chat I'd rather get one 20 minute stream out of this than uh, a tenth of a few hours stream or like a small fraction of a m multiple hour stream because I can do a multiple hour stream without this and if I'm ever uploading it I'd want to just put the uh, the end bit at the end at the thing so
Like if it's a small enough segment that I wouldn't want to upload it on its own, like maybe it's like five minutes or something that I spend in it, and I don't want to upload a five minute video to my YouTube. So I'd have to splice that back with the, uh, the previous half, and I don't want to do that. I don't want to just splice videos together anymore. It's already one thing to splice them apart. That's why I've stopped playing games I don't like all that much, because if I play a game I don't like, then I feel, then I, 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 I'll often quit in the middle of it. And if I quit in the middle of it, then I, then I have to splice videos and I don't like that. Like, whereas I like to stream a variety of different things, I don't want to be like a variety streamer, where I stream a bunch of things in one playthrough, because then I, because then it's like, oh, okay, you know, I played this, and I played it for like 20 minutes, so that means my uh, channel has like a 20 minute video. Even though the 20 minute videos are doing great, I mean, I've, as I said, I got 36 views on my, uh, on one of my 30 minute videos of open season for Game Boy Advance. It's great. I don't know why that one is suddenly popular, but it is. Oh yeah, and that was the, I, it might also be because I said it was a prank because I pranked my brother because he hates the, he hates open season for some reason. And so I was like, oh, hey, you know what? I can get open season on Game Boy Advance, which isn't a bad game, and then wait till he's around and play it on stream. That's right. Flash them all. Oh, where are we at? We are at 45... We're getting there, chat. Oh, the dishwasher's done. I forgot it was going. Because it was going in the background for so long that you just... That ever happened to you? You just forget your appliances are running because they're running in the background and you don't realize that they were... You forget that they were running until they stop again. I know that I just said my I forgot that the dishwasher was running and I only remembered because it just stopped I'd kind of love to have one of those devices that can rip a ROM from your uh, Game Boy or from your game itself, so that way I could just officially save them all onto a flash cart, and then like people would be like, "Hey, use your flash cart. That's not good." It's like, I'm sorry, I ripped the ROM myself. Because I hate people like that. Like, get over yourself. Do you think they're still selling this game? If so, if I were to go and buy another copy of these games, who would make the money? Would the company that sold it make the money? No. Or the company that made it? get that money? No, they already made their money off of it. Like, if I were to, say, emulate a big Nintendo game like Minish Cap, like, is Nintendo losing money because I didn't buy it from them? Like, where am I gonna buy it? Wii U eShop? That's the only place you can still buy it from Nintendo. I'd be quite pleased if they ever uh, decide, hey, what if we added Game Boy and Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance games to the Switch, uh, you know, like the NSO? I would love that.
because like playing Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games is kind of my shtick. There are some Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games that you can get right now on Nintendo Switch. Actually, I only know of a few Game Boy Color games that you can, or a, a few original Game Boy games that you can get. And it's surprising that the company that released them decided to release them because they seem to care more about money than actually making games. Because if you make good games, you can make money. But you can also make money by making uh, predatory games. So they love loot boxes and uh, other garbage. But since they're ba not based in the U.S., they aren't likely to do loot boxes because loot boxes are a European thing, you know, like a Euro-American thing for some reason. And this company is Japanese, so what do they do? Fucking slot machines. It's bullcrap. Like, come on. Did they not make enough money on the Castlevania re-release pack? Like, it had Castlevania 1, 2, 3, 4, and both the Game Boy ones. And it's like, that's awesome. They should definitely do that more. Like, if they were like, okay, they released the uh, Metroidvania-style ones. Like, oh, he, we, we just re-released on all modern consoles uh, a collection of the Game Boy Advance uh, Castlevanias and Symphony of the Night. That would be awesome. Now I will say, there's one console that I have that I don't have Symphony of the Night on that's not a handheld. But I also do have a handheld with Symphony of the Night on it, because I have the PS3, PS1 Classics version of Symphony of the Night, and I also got it via Xbox Live Gold a few months ago. Don't remember how long ago. Long enough ago that it was, they were just giving away a long string of Castlevania games with games with gold. So it has, I have all of the Lords of Shadows games, including an HD remaster of the DS Lords of Shadow game, which is just a straight up classic Castlevania, not even a Metroidvania, I'm pretty sure. It is a straightforward, you go here with your whip, play Castlevania like it's Castlevania 1 and 2 and 3. I'm pretty sure it's more like 3 because I think Alucard shows up as a playable character in it. You know, it has other playable characters other than your Belmont character. Which is very Castlevania 3 of it. Because I don't know a lot about Castlevanias 1 through 3. Because they're very difficult. I kind of like 2 because it's so weird and there's a group of people that hate it because the angry video game nerd made a very angry video about it. Because he's an angry video game nerd, that's his whole joke. And yeah, you know, it is kind of a thing, but that's a thing of all NES games of that era, is that they were cryptic and stupid like that. You know, when someone praises a game for being NES hard, like, oh yeah, Dark Souls is NES hard. No, it's not. You have infinite lives in Dark Souls. If you die five times in a row, you lose the currency you gained each of those times. And that's it. And guess what? You can get that currency back by, uh killing enemies again and then getting to the next save point and then boom all the enemies are back and you're able to kill them to get currency again which is also XP if I remember correctly I've never played Dark Souls I have played Demon Souls and I plan on eventually playing Bloodborne but uh I have not played Dark Souls, and I will not play Dark Souls. Because people treat it like it's the greatest of all time. And I don't like when people act like things are great when they're just... When they're not... They're not bad. I'm certain Dark Souls isn't a bad game. But the people who like Dark Souls are... Shitty about it, so... I'll play literally every other game in this series because I've never heard anyone get pissy about Bloodborne or Demon's Souls. Hell, I'd even play some of From Software's, like, proto-Dark Souls games, like that weird PS1 first-person game.
What they really should do is they should make another armored core. That's what From Software should do. Because who doesn't like games about giant robots? Probably lots of people. Ow, my neck. But I remember playing that stuff on PS1 and they're like, oh, this is awesome. Just because it was big freaking robots fighting. And I, you know, sometimes that's just what you want in a game. Like, sometimes you get into Dynasty Warriors proper because you're kind of into Gundam, and you decide, hey, I want to play Dynasty Warriors Gundam because it... Dynasty Warriors looks like an interesting series, perhaps, and I, I'm not a fan of the ancient history sort of theme, but, you know, then you play it and it's like, oh, this is awesome, and it's, it's awesome. The first one is a bit slow, but I'm, but I know that the more modern Dynasty Warriors games are a little faster, so... Maybe the third one is better. Because I've played... I have one and two of Dynasty Warriors Gundam. Good games. Good games. I'll say it right now. I think they are good games. A little less strategical than... Uh, like, say... Hyrule Warriors. I remember... Playing that a while. Like, when I started really getting into that one on the Switch version. Not the Wii U version. I have both versions. Both Switch and Wii U. But... I don't remember what I was saying. Uh, except that, you know... They're a little more strategical in nature than, uh... The gun- or than the first Gundam one, at least. It's also funny that... The Zelda man... The man who's currently in charge of Zelda thought to do that when he was like, Hey, I've been playing the One Piece, uh, one of these games. And he was like, it's really cool, we should make- we should see if they want to make one of Zelda. And they were like, sure. And so they did. And it was pretty cool. Alright, so we got level 48. We are so close, Chathew. Right, let's get rid of these f funky idiots first. That's right. Ugh. Yeah, this looks like this might be a short stream today, but as I said, I will have a bonus stream later. We're gonna be doing something fun. It's gonna be great. Should definitely tune in. I'm gonna tell my brothers that they should tune in also. Because it's going to be great. It's an idea I've had for a very long time. And I saw a speedrun, actually, at, uh, at GDQ a year or so ago, and it had the same title as what I, w what I want to do here, and it's like, yo, are they really? But it, it wasn't that. It was like a relay race where they're like, okay, uh, I'll, I'll do this section, and then I'll pass the controller. Actually, I don't think they were passing the controller. I think they were doing what I'm doing, which is they had two controllers. Uh, but yeah, you know, it's like, oh, I'll pass the controller onto you. It's not a proper co-op run. It's, this is relay race, not co-op. Come on. Don't be stupid. Don't lie to us. Co-op would be both players simultaneously. Also, I wonder if you had four GameCubes and four Game Boy players, if you could use the, uh, a game, a mini GameCube as, or a GameCube with a separate screen as, a recording for, uh, like the Game Boy Advance screen on, uh, any game that requires a Game Boy Advance connection. Like, if you're like, hey, I want to play, uh, oh, 
whatever the hell, what the hell is it called? I can't even remember. I'm sorry. Uh, Four Swords Adventures for Game for GameCube. And you were like, hey, I want to do this four player, but I want to record everyone's Game Boy screens because I think that would be funny. I wonder if you could uh, do that by uh, plugging that into a GameCube. punched it. That's another thing I'd love to do though is Four Swords Adventures stream where everyone has a GameCube and has their own screen but also everyone has to look at the main screen to see what's going on in the main game. Oh that would be really cool now that I'm thinking about it for real. Like, for really real? Yeah. Especially if it's, like, not necessarily live. Like, if you do it pre-recorded and you edit it so that whenever a person goes to their Game Boy Advance screen, it, like, the screen pops up in the corner, in one of the corners. That'd be fun and cool. It'd be a lot of work, also, but... And a lot of money to get that many GameCubes and Game Boy players. But I think you could do it. I think it might work. You could probably search that on some sort of forum like, hey, a question for all you crazy forum goers here. Can you use the Game Boy Player as a Game Boy Advance for a game such as that? I mean, it's got the little clip on it, which is admittedly probably for like the, uh, the Wi-Fi adapter for your, uh, not Wi-Fi, uh, just general wireless connection. Because they they had a thing where uh, Fire Red and Leaf Green and Emerald had uh, a little thing that you could plug on top and it would do wireless. It was like, oh, you could trade and do other mini games via wireless instead of, uh, you know, instead of having to have a link cable. But, you know, I don't, I think they only had you do mini games with it instead of trading because they were like, oh, we don't quite trust this technology enough, so we're going to go ahead and not risk your stuff so that you don't get mad at us. Which is <coughs> fair. Yuck. You ever choke on water? <coughs> oh, is that even choking? Or am I just... Coming down with a cough. Could be anything. Yo, we 48? Is that 49? Oh, that's 48. Okay. Whew. Dang. He's got surprisingly good stats with the, uh, all the bonuses I gave him. Okay, look, he's got better power than uh, Trunks. Doesn't have better end than anyone, and he almost has as good stir as uh, Pickleman. The Pickleman. Yoza. <sighs> ah, two more gators. I couldn't remember that I if I had defeated all the gators or not. Yoza. We got it, though. Also, another thing I thought about the uh, Four Swords thing is that would also make it so your uh, 
Four Swords play sessions could last a lot longer because currently, like if I were to play Four Swords and I was using a Game Boy, an actual Game Boy Advance, uh, that might last for a few hours. No, don't go that way, you butthead. We got him now. that you've been waiting in the mail for for like well over a week and it's like a little less than a week ago it was like oh yeah uh, it got lost in the mail it, 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 there's, there's a little trouble it's being delayed it's like what what is the trouble I wish the USPS would just say what the trouble is it's like oh yeah uh, this one's lost in one of our mailing facilities or oh this was in a truck that got impounded or some dumb thing like that it's like I want to know It's like, oh, the truck that was carrying this wrecked, and we're still recovering everything from it. It's like, oh, okay, that's messed up. I hope everything turned out okay. I hope everything turns out okay for everyone's mail. You know, something like that, but, like, they don't tell you these things. <laughs> it just says it's been delayed from March 7th, which was five days ago at this point. It's like, please deliver my things. I want them. <sighs> but they don't want to deliver my things. And they, well, I guess they do want to, because that is, you know, what they're being paid to do by the American taxpayers, such as myself but they're not being able to for some reason or another. Or perhaps it's just this one location is super swamped and it's just taking a long time to pass through that location. Which is, that'd be fair, because I mean, part of the problem though is that I'm having is... So I ordered something on eBay and it was out, it was out coming to me literally the next day. And I got it like a couple days ago and it, and it was in great condition and everything was fine. But I've been getting this, oh yeah, it's delayed things for over a week and I don't know. Why? Or if it's coming in at all. And that's very stressful because I, I like getting things in the mail, you know? Even if it's junk mail, I like getting that. I like going to the mailbox and opening it and finding something inside, even. Even if it's literally something that I'm just going to throw away. Like when I get, uh, uh, you know, flyers and advertisements in the mail. 99% of those get thrown away. The other 1% are, uh, coupons for places that I actually eat. Arby's? They send me Arby's coupons? I, uh, I use those. I used to use Hardy's ones, but, like, I don't like Hardy's that much anymore. And if I were in a different town, a specific different town, I would eat Long John Silver's. But I don't. Like, man, the Long John Silver's here just sucks so much garbage. Decked. I 
This is so much easier since he can stun everything on screen. It's because he's so stunning. <laughs> Ooh, 49. Pow plus one. And stern end plus zo. Yowza. Gotta pummel these gators before they, uh, bite me. You know? Oh, there we go. I've decided, I've come with a, come up with a good reason as for why I'm not playing the third one on stream yet, other than, uh, See, the problem is I kind of want to, like, be not be like, oh, you know, I don't know how this one goes, so. But I also really like the idea of, like, I don't like the idea of doing a blind playthrough on stream, but I also really do like the play idea of doing that on stream, blind playthroughing uh, Boo's Fury. That's the third one of these, by the way. And it's called that because, uh... Goku's not in it at the start. Very much not in it at the start. Because if you saw the end of this one yesterday, you would you would know why that is. Or if you've just plain seen what happens at the end of the Cell Saga, you'll know why that is. That Goku is not there at the start of Boo's Fury. Uh, but yeah, also, if you'll remember, if I do play that one, uh, I gave Gohan a regular voice at the end of it because he plays a more, a, a bigger role in the next one than in this one. Because in this one, he's like, you know, he's the, he's the main guy at the end of it, where he goes Super Saiyan 2. I'm pretty sure that's Super Saiyan 2. I don't know for certain. All I know is that Super Saiyan 1 has the Vegeta hair. And that's how it's supposed to be. Well, full Saiyans when they go Super Saiyan 1 have Vegeta hair but yellow. And I guess half Saiyans can do whatever the, their hair goes however they want when they become Super Saiyan. Or if they have, or if their hair goes the same way as Goku's, then... Uh, when they go Super Saiyan 1, uh, that's how it will be. Which is why it'd be so crazy to see a character that doesn't have the Goku hair go to the Super Saiyan God form. Not the Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan, because that's just got the Super Saiyan 1 hair that every, everyone gets. You know, if they go Super Saiyan, they got that g vegetal hair. Vegetal. Oh, we are so close <sighs> to getting this little man maxed out so we can see the bonus ending. I, it bugs me that I know so much about this, but I've never, I've never watched a single episode of this. Of this anima. That's right. I'm not good at watching anime anyway. It requires me to sit down for too long. Without, like, exercising my brain. I mean, last time I... Because I want to watch it in the Japanese, so that way I don't know if the voice acting's bad. Whereas if it's in the English, the voice acting is, there's, there's, like, no offense to any of the English voice actors, but, like... It's not good. It's never good. And if it's the Japanese version, I don't know if it's bad, because I don't know Japanese. And my brain's focusing on reading the captions. I just, I wish I knew why it was bad, because I don't think any of the voice actors in it are bad. The f I don't need this crap right now. Stupid computer. Trying to give me a notification in the middle of a damn stream? I'm streaming, you freak. You sick bastard. 
God, I need to get a disk drive for this thing if I want to do the thing I want to do for my face reveal at one, one sub. If you'll notice up at the top there, I need one subscriber. You get one on Twitch, a Twitch subscriber. I will specify. No, uh, no subscribers on Twi on YouTube. That's that's not gonna do anything. I already have a few subscribers on YouTube. Subscribers on YouTube are like follows on Twitch, as you know, as you likely know. Yeah, max level, baby. Endurance went up by one. I'm gonna beat the crap out of these guys just because. That's right. It is time for the extra ending. I'm so excited, chat. I don't think I've I've never seen this. I have never seen this bonus ending. I mean, I know where it is because it showed me where it is. Like the game did as soon as you unlock this guy, it's like, hey, here's the bonus ending, huh? Sorry, I can't help you with that. I don't know what he can't help with, but uh, screw that guy, huh? What's he doing, just standing there? Does this guy have any special lines? Ah, nothing like relaxing on the beach. Cool. High-powered businesswoman. Briefcase, laptop, and capsules. Oh, she can just keep them in her pocket. She got pockets? She got pockets in that thing? Fuck. Alright. Well, chat, you ready for this? Bam. Open the door. We walk in. I'm excited. I don't know what this is. Ooh. His name is Rob. That looks like a bad mustache. Oh, uh, I don't want to do a voice for this guy. Especially since given his name, I just want to do like a guy who sounds like this, like his nose is plugged up. Good evening, and welcome to Late Night with Rob Howard. This will be Hercule Hero of the Cell Games. Oh yeah, who loves you? And who, yeah, what a punk ass. This guy's, this, yeah. Wait, so the cameras are on a different layer. The camera guys, that is. They're going Rob. Oh, Hercule, now the first question I to you is, how's it feel to save the entire world? It's great. With it being the greatest martial artist on the planet, it takes a lot of hard work and dedication. And well, it's also pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Yoza. I have to do it. You could explain that you didn't really do it. I could say that. But he did, sure. Do it. <laughs> 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 oh boy, they're just ripping into this guy. Yeah, he loves to claim that shit. Funny. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what an ending. What an ending. And there we go. That's the real ending. He goes on TV. And, uh... Lies. While proclaiming that the others... They're the ones who are really lying. He's the he's the one who did it for reals. We're gonna sit here through the credits again. Or maybe not. 
Cool. It's faster to just hit the button. Because I know, I s remember there was a name I saw and I was like, what? Wim, that's a cool name. Steve Martin, oh my god, I did see Steve Martin in the name in there. Wow. Congratulations to comedian Steve Martin for, uh... <laughs> for being one of the dudes who made this game. We're just gonna go ahead and skip through this again because why bother? Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's playing this cutscene again. It plays this cutscene. This is just part of the credits, huh? Or does it have some sort of extra version of this scene? How did it travel to that timeline? That's, that's what I want to know. How the hell did he go to a different timeline? And since he kills Cell here, how does Cell ever go back? How does he return to the other timeline where Cell did show up? Because he's about to kill Cell before Cell can leave. Unless he, unless Cell regenerates really quickly, and then uh, unless he, like he just failed here and he regenerates really quickly and then kills Trunks. possible. There we go, that's the actual end of the game. There we go. I have finished, properly finished this time, Dragon Ball Z Legacy of Goku 2. And we're moving to the end of the stream. I had a good time. If you want to see everything I got, uh, Go ahead and leave a follow. I'm going to be streaming later tonight. It's going to be fun. We got some cool stuff going on. You know what? Let's go ahead and move this up here. And then, uh, then we're going to... Yeah. Alright. Yeah, that's a much better place for it. We're going to put that there for now. Uh, if you, as I said, if you liked what you see, leave a follow. I'm going to be playing uh, Mario and Luigi, partners in, or not partners in time, Superstar Saga tonight. It's going to be great. It's going to be stupid. You're going to love it. It's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be two people. It's going to be me and another guy both playing it simultaneously. <laughs> uh, let's see, do I have anything else? I got my YouTube channel, uh, Chubby Pop Tarts 87 Stream Archive. Check me out there. Uh, and I got a Twitter, at Chubby Pop Tarts. I have basically only on my Twitter said anything about, uh, basically all I've done on Twitter is say, like, oh, I'm not going to stream this day, or oh, I'm not going to stream this day. Uh, maybe if people start following me, I'll actually start tweeting other stuff. But, uh, I think that's it. Uh, see you later tonight, maybe. Hopefully. See ya.